I met him when he came to my enthronement uh, in Buenos Aires, which was on the 14th of July in 2001. He was invited and he accepted and he was there. So as he came to my enthronement uh, way back then, uh, it, I was uh, pleased and uh, almost uh, obliged uh, to return the, the favor and be here at his enthronement. I had brought some things uh, for him, some presents. Uh, one was uh, an urn in which I had placed uh, earth from uh, uh, Argentina so that he wouldn't feel uh, far away. He would always feel close to us. It was an urn that uh, I was fortunate to find that had engravings of Christ and St. Peter, St. Paul, and three female saints, and it was just the right thing. The theological dialogue by itself cannot bring about Christian unity. It can bring us closer, and uh, uh, it can inform each side uh, better of where, where we are, how we are thinking, what our feelings are, uh, where the problems might be, uh, where we can, uh, where we feel comfortable working together. The uh, perspective of uh, His Holiness uh, the Pope uh, would be more on another level of bringing the people together. Because if, in the end, the people don't accept the theological dialogue or what comes out of the theological dialogue, uh, there won't be any Christian unity. It's a blessing. I didn't expect that he would be in the uh, Casa Santa Marta uh, and that we would be staying in the same building. I thought by now he would have been in his papal apartments and, and we could only catch glimpses of him. But uh, he is uh, the same person he was in Buenos Aires, you know, very, uh, very simple, uh, very friendly, like this morning. We had breakfast together and it was a great opportunity to uh, exchange greetings in the morning and uh, wish each other a pleasant and fruitful day, what else can you say? We're not going to solve the problems of the church o over uh, café con leche. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, be a Christian family. Mm -hmm.